Hello guys, it's Franklin here. I'm super excited to bring you this video. I would like to quickly give a short breakdown on some of the trades I took this week. It was indeed a productive week. On one of the first trades I got in during the week um, was GBP, GPY. Um, looking at the weekly tempo, as we are very much bullish from the weekly perspective. While we see price came to just uh, previously broken resistance, now turns support. My previous video had pretty much given a great breakdown on buy opportunity I took somewhere around here so one week ago and um, from the weekly perspective clearly we're bullish but we see price came to make a swing high here and then came down to make a swing low with this low higher than the previous low so very much still respecting the higher highs and the higher higher lows Moving down to the daily time frame, moving down to the daily time frame, when price was making this retracement, we had a change in trend. All can clearly see a lower high, lower than the previous high, a lower low, lower than the previous low. And then this was the most recent swing high. Basically, I was pretty much looking out for price taking out this swing high for us to continue back with that very bullish move because on the daily time frame is. Because the weekly time frame is clearly bullish and an uptrend, then the daily time frame shifted from the bullish to the bearish. So we're expecting this to move back to the bullish trend to align perfectly well with that of the weekly time frame. Well, we did that somewhere around here. Where we had this daily candlestick close above the previous swing high and that was the confirmation i needed to continue all the way back to the upside at least for price to come and test the previous swing eyes somewhere around here moving down to the four hours time frame so we can clearly see Weekly time frame is bullish. Daily time frame has shifted back to the bullish trend. Then, four hourly time frame. You can clearly see four hourly time frame is bullish. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Higher highs, higher lows. That's pretty much all we do. This was where I needed um, to get that confirmation from the daily time frame that the structure shifted back to uptrend. And um, our trade came, our trade opportunity was somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, where we had um, price coming to this point, and then we had sell off from that level and then price was broke above that point to come and not retest the level
So that's let's make that one sixty three hundred. Yeah, so so we can see how this level aligns perfectly well with the one sixty three hundred psychological level. Previously there was a resistance here and then breaks price breaks above the resistance. The broken resistance becomes a new support. So we're pretty much expecting price to come back here and find what that support back to the upside. So we can clearly see weekly time frame bullish, daily time frame bullish, four hourly time frame also bullish with price what breaking above this previous resistance now turned new support coupled with the fact that we have what a psychological number there 16300 moving down to the one hour time frame well there's not much from the one hour time frame still very much in confluence of what we've been gathering from the daily time frame well i noticed um we came and then tested um the 50 exponential moving average we came and tested the 50 exponential moving oh, average <laughs> from the psychological number 16200 The entry was pretty much taken from 30 minutes time frame. Yeah, 30 minutes time frame. So building the confluence, moving back to one hour time frame again. Stacking up the confluence is why um, this trade opportunity was a no-brainer. We clearly saw from the weekly time frame were bullish, daily time frame bullish. Four hourly time frame bullish with price breaking out of a four hourly previous resistance down to new supports. Then coming down to the one hour time frame, we can see what price now rejecting what price is what in confluence with um, the 163 psychological number, psychological level. Price is also testing the 50 exponential moving average from the one hour later time frame perspective. This takes us to the time frame from where we had our entry. So price came into one sixty two hundred psychological level, and then we had the double bottom. We had the double bottom that left us with what? Yet another. Let me change the color of this. We had the double bottom that left us with yet another resistance broken turns into a new support, more like the neckline of the double bottom. Then after that, we can see what from the 30 minutes time frame we had a price rejecting off of. The neckline of the double bottom from the 30 minutes time frame. So that was the confirmation to go long. That was the confirmation to go long. So we took our longs just after the pin bar had formed. Stop losses were high below. And then the tech profit was somewhere around 164319. 1 is 1 to 2 points. 1 to 2 points. 1 to 2 is the reward basically. I, I pretty much short paid myself on this, reason being that term. Um,
reason being that I was expecting price to come back. The reason being I was expecting price to come back and test this level again before making that final surge all the way to the upside. But then price never did that. So I kind of short paid myself on this. This would have been a no brainer trade where I would have expected price to come back and test previous weekly highs for some nines on one to ten we still over there. But that notwithstanding, we we're able to bank a one to two. The one to two from this with our exit at one sixty four. Three one nine, somewhere around one sixty four. Yeah, so we had a one to one to two risk to reward on this. So this was the first trade we had for the week. GBP JPY securing a one to two risk to reward. So yeah. Or the GDP JPY and to also this. The next trade we took was AUD share. AUD C share. AUD C share. Let's start from the weekly time frame. Top down analysis. Just like I will always recommend. From the weekly time frame, um, we noticed um, AUD CHF is bullish. While we are bearish, making lower highs and lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, with this point being the most recent swing low. Any candlestick break above this point would signify us what's changing from the downtrend back to the uptrend. And then we can clearly see while we had the lower low here, we had the lower high here, and then we had a higher low. Okay. Basically, we had shifted structure from bearish to bullish somewhere around uh, here because uh, we had this swing low and then we had a higher low only for price to watch come and take out what, this swing low creating a higher high so we took out this swing low and then this swing low also that was a very bullish movement that took out two previous lower highs creating a higher high so that's a confirmation that what from the weekly perspective, we are very much bullish. And then this movement was only a pullback. You can see how it came, and then we tested the 50 exponential moving average, got the rejection candlestick, which was a kind of indication that we were most likely going to continue heading back to the upside. So weekly time frame for AUD chef is bullish. Moving down to the daily time frame. Moving down to the daily time frame, what we gathered is quite similar from what we had there. Um, we are having this lower highs and lower lows, and then price takes out the most recent previous. So here yeah, we had a shift from the daily time frame. This signified 
that was shifted from from bearish to bullish sentiments on the daily perspective. So yeah, this was the most recent lower eye. Then we can see price breaks out of that, confirming what and now the daily time frame is in line with what the weekly time frame. So weekly is bullish, daily time frame has shifted from bearish now to bullish time frame. Moving down to the four-hour time frame. We can clearly see our price as even as the higher high, higher low, higher highs, higher lows, higher high. And then um, I think we add our opportunity, buying opportunity somewhere around here. So what we noticed first was price came and then created the higher high. Breaking the previous higher high, which was a resistance broken, we are expecting to actually find a buying move right from this zone where we had the previous broken resistance should most likely be coming support. But that's not that's not the reasons anyway why we want to buy or sell. It's just where we look out as as a point of interest to take the buying opportunities from where we now get to adopt some other conferences for for the buying. But then what we noticed was bringing out a Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. Oh, sorry about that. Bringing that Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. After price created the swing high here, the pullback came into the sixth. The pullback came into the sixth nine. The golden ratio, Fibonacci golden ratio. Sorry. Okay, so we pulled back into the 50 Fibonacci Golden Label and then we add a nice rejection candlestick, a pin bar from that level, signifying that what the pull pullback is most likely coming to an end. So that's a confirmation. We were rejecting the 50 Fibonacci level. A kind of confirmation that's what the pullback is most likely ending. But then what I wanted to see was price break back above this point of interest. Previously, support. We had price break below it. Then I needed to see what price come back above that level to confirm what that yes indeed this market is committed to continue with the bull run. After the rejection candlestick from the 50 Fibonacci strong level, what I noticed was what a fairly strong bullish engulfing candlestick, and that was the confirmation. This was the confirmation that yes, we're indeed heading back to the upside. But then I needed a good entry. This takes us down to. Um, I think we add our entry from the 15 minutes time frame. Okay, yeah. From the 30 minutes time frame, what we noticed was what? We broke right above the point of interest. Previously, was a far us of resistance, which was broken and then turns into a, a new support. 
we actually broke above that and then it came and it tested what the 50 exponential moving average so this was where we got the entry so we had we had our confirmation when price broke above when price gave us the four hour bullish engulfing candlestick we had the confirmation that what the market is committed to go back to the upside but then the entry was from the 30 minutes time frame rejection off of the 50 exponential moving average so we had a break of the exponential moving average and then we came and then we tested the exponential moving average our lungs were taken from somewhere around here stop losses were just below the level and then we had to take profits or a one to five, a nice one to five somewhere around nine eight five eight. Yeah, this was a nice one to five. We still watch it. So that's a chef. So that was the second trade we took for the week. A one to five, and previously we had backed. Uh, one to two is to reward on GBP JPY making a total of one to seven just at the open of markets. Both trades were taken on the same day, sixth on Monday, just when the markets opened. And then the next trade we had was G NZD USD. NZD USD. NZD USD. Looking at the weekly time frame from looking at the weekly time frame, what we noticed on NZD USD. Clearly we were bearish on NZD USD. We can see our price was making what swing highs and swing lows. Swing lows. What this Swing low and then that price come and take out what this previous lower low leaving us with what a broken support turns into what a new resistance so the it's 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 as simple as as um breaking a previous support and then we testing it to find the resistance or breaking the previous resistance and then we testing it to find the support you need some other confluences, which I cannot obviously share on here. All of which I cannot share on here. But basically, we were bearish from the weekly perspective. We had price, made the swing low, and then a slight pullback to test the previous swing low, which was a broken support, now turns into a new resistance. What we can clearly see is what um weekly time frame bearish moving down to the daily time frame moving down to the daily time frame there, there was something quite fascinating about the nzd usd opportunity was the fact that we had um so many things in confluences here we had a psychological level At the psychological level, somewhere zero point six five five fifty. I think that was it. So yeah, psychological level six five five fifty. Coupled with the fact that what price was testing a previously broken weekly support now turns new resistance confluence number two psychological level 65550 coupled with the fact that price was testing the previously broken support now turns resistance confluence number two confluence number three we can clearly see our price was rejecting what 
the 50 exponential moving average. So we came and then rejected the 50 exponential exponential moving average. We had a bearish candlestick close back below the 50 exponential moving average. Confluence number three. Confluence no number four was a double top. We can clearly see price created what? A double top just right at the zone. So there were too many convincing reasons why we needed to what, short NZD USD. But then I wasn't looking to sell right from this point. That would have been a risky call. There were two things I was looking out. Even though I don't use trend line that much. But then I needed to see price what break below this trend line, coupled with the fact that what I needed to see price come and take out what the neckline. The neckline of the double top. I needed to see price break below the neckline of the double top and also what break this counter trend line. Moving down to the fall time frame. Moving down to the forward time frame, we can clearly see our price came into the zone. So weekly bearish, daily bearish. Our price came into the zone and then left us with what? Lower low, lower high, lower low. This lower low clearly was breaking below the neckline of the double top. Lower low. So now, daily time frame bearish, weekly time frame bearish, four hourly time frame has shifted from bullish now to bearish. So basically, what I notice was we got right here, bringing down our Fibonacci, previous swing guy to swing low. Previous swing guy to swing low. We came back to what? Test the golden zone fibonacci golden zone 618 0 0.618 fibonacci golden zone and then we had a rejection off of the 50 exponential moving average so we had a pullback and then a rejection of of the 618 fibonacci golden zone and then also price clearly rejecting the the exponential moving average. I had missed this entry for some reasons I don't know why, but basically we got another entry and missed this entry. But this would have been a okay. So I'm bringing the Fibonacci back into this. What is swing high, swing low? So I wasn't looking to hold this trade for too long because my STP was somewhere around here. Yeah, my first TP was somewhere around here. So clearly, this would have made a perfect selling, selling opportunity. When we had this rejection off of the 50 exponential moving average and also um, the golden, golden ratio, Fibonacci golden ratio 618, or nice one to four. But then we didn't get that because we missed that entry. We got our entry right from the one hour time frame. Yes, so our entry was somewhere around here. Price the left and then came back to test this level. From the one hourly time frame, we can clearly see where price was rejecting the one hour 50 exponential moving average, coupled with the fact that what this was also a strong zone.
So our entry was somewhere around here. Moving down to the one hour time frame. So we also had confluence again. What from the one hour time frame swing high to swing low had a pullback. Price tested the 50 exponential moving average from the one hour time frame. And also we had a test of the golden zone from from the one hour time frame. Fibonacci golden zone 0 0.618. Confluence number two, and um, we had that a rejection candlestick. So we had pretty much gotten our end screen from the one hour time frame. We shorted right after this rejection from 491 to 3. Yeah, 491 to 3 is the reward. But then again, we had another entry. We had a second entry. So we had the first trade. We had the first trade for a nice one to three. And then the next trade, going back to the forward time frame. We can clearly see our price what swing low, swing sorry, swing high, swing low, and then we had a new swing low for price to come and what test what a previously broken so had a previously broken support turns a new resistance coupled with the fact that if we draw our Fibonacci from swing eye from swing eye to swing low we had what perfectly well in confluence with the golden zone 0 0.618 Fibonacci golden zone 6 what it. So what a previous support turns into a new resistance in confluence with what Fibonacci Golden Zone 0 0.618. Two confluences, why that was a strong zone to look out for selling opportunities. And then moving down to moving down to the one hour time frame, uh, we got our entry from the one hour time frame release. So this was our point of interest. This was our point of interest. So for trade number two, um, we're looking to get out of trade somewhere around here. Moving down to the one hour time frame, what we noticed was what? So price came back to test that previous four hour support now turns into a new resistance, coupled with the fact that what? It was a Fibonacci um, golden zone, 0 0.618, one joint from previous swing high to swing low. Let's bring that up again. So previous swing high to swing low. So you can see our price was rejecting what off of Fibonacci Golden Zone 0 0.618. Confluence number two, we had um Golden Zone. Confluence number one, we had um one hour um 50 exponential moving average. We had a rejection off of one hour 50 exponential moving average, coupled with the fact that this was a previous what previous support broken now turns what new resistance. So price was already testing this. Then we got that what nice um, um, shooting star candlestick, which was a reversal candlestick pattern. 
So we had the second cell at the close of this one hour shooting star candlestick. this over here stop losses why the nines are um, one to tell you also for this why the nines want to tell you for this also so both trades gave us a one to six risk reward um then um Yeah, so this was trade number two. Trade number two, one to three, nice one to three. Trade number one, nice one to three. And that's uh, the trade opportunities we had for the week. It was uh, a no brainer. Uh, basically, you saw how we used up the break and the retest, retest strategy for every one of these opportunities. And then just added one or two confluences, check, and that was um, how we turned that to make uh over a one to twelve yeah twelve percent um for just one week one week straight well do well to um subscribe to my youtube channel and then turn on the notifications to be alerted for every time i make out and put out new videos on here and i'll keep doing this from time to time and do hope you find so much value in every one of these um, shots breakdown. Thank you so very much.